Hey there, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amber and today I have four fall harvest slash autumn DIYs to inspire you. That's right. Right here on my channel, I love to inspire you to make things uh, for your home on a budget and I love to show you how to do that. So um, if that is something that excites you and intrigues you, then I would love for you to subscribe to my channel and turn on that bell and introduce yourself below in the comments. And then don't forget if you are returning how much I appreciate you too. You mean so much to me as well. So thank you for coming back this week and um, all the weeks that you return. So I do want to tell you that everything is timestamped in the description box below so that you can skip ahead if where you want to. And if we have a blog written on our website, we will also put that in the description. I don't have a house update for you this week. I was hopeful. And I don't have Avery's acorn for you this week either. So uh, this was just a crazy week. I don't even know what to say other than it was, it's just been crazy. I've been running errands like crazy with the house. There's just been a bunch of stuff going on. You know, it's just, we got to have our first sleepover with Avery and it just, sometimes you make sacrifices for, your, you know, for your family to be with them and other things just get put on the back burner. So if you see some irregularity here on my channel, listen, family comes first. Okay. So I just want you guys to know that, um, I'm all about consistency, but I'm all about not overwhelming myself. So thank you so much for the grace and understanding with that, but I won't keep you waiting any longer. And if you have not done so, please head over to the American influencer awards and cast your vote for me. DIY influencer of the year. You will see it in the lifestyle category. And you can vote once a day, every day, if you see that I am uh, worthy of that <laughs> award, please go cast your vote for me. And you can vote once a day, every day until September 30th. And uh, it's at AIAawards.com. Super excited to even be nominated. Again, I'm just so honored. But thank you guys for being here this week. I'm not going to keep you. Let's go ahead and get started with this week's video. Let me know which one of these is your favorites. And I cannot wait to see what you guys have to say in the comments. Be sure to, like I said, head over to my Facebook page and come craft live with us. We do that five days a week and we love for you to be a part of that. There will be a link in the description as well. So thanks for being here this week and let's go ahead and get started with this week's video. <music> All right, let's start this one off with this one right here because I am in love with this. Okay, we're using a Dollar Tree calendar. We're gonna use that print to create something super cute. Obviously it's chippy, it's gonna feel old, it's gonna just be so fun. So I'm painting on some Mod Podge onto the surface board from the Dollar Tree and I'm just gonna put my print right on there. I'm not gonna paint the back of it with any color because it was dark and I didn't feel like I needed to. So I'm using my rolling pin and my saran wrap to kind of get the best smoothest finish with this. However, you can always iron yours on. I know a lot of people are doing that now. I just feel like it's just a matter of preference. I like to use my rolling pin and my saran wrap. Now we're gonna be using these gallon sticks from, they're stir sticks from Lowe's or Home Depot. And I'm using some Kilts Dark Wax and I just add a little bit of brown paint to this. And then I did make this live. And so I had a bunch of people asking like, how do you do that? How did you get that? And so I was like, well, listen, if you can't get your whole hands on the whole can of the Kilts Wax, you can make your own. So I showed them how we could make this wax, same kind of wax with the, Vaseline and the burnt umber paint. Mix it up and you can use it too. We're gonna to use it here soon in this video so that you can see how it goes on. But I will say, it's completely up to you what you wanna use. You wanna use a Waverly wax, you certainly can. Now I got this finish with a coarse size paint stick and I just dipped it into the white paint and I strung it across there and it gave us a chippy look. I just thought it'd be a fun way to help people get a chippy look when they're struggling maybe to do the chippy that I do with the Vaseline. This is another alternative for you and I thought it would be really fun to show you that. So I'm just using these, um, what do you call them? Raffia bows with the dark buttons from Hobby Lobby. And I will incorporate another button in our other bow that we're going to make um, here in just a few minutes. Now, I love to go to the remnant section of the Hobby Lobby. I don't know if you do that too, but I love to do that. Now, I'm just using some burlap colors, uh, burlap fabric in different colors. And I wanted to tie in a little bit of the orange. I could not find the orange. So I took some ribbon 
and I used two that were white and then I painted two orange. That way we could kind of tie in the colors. I just could not find the color that I wanted for the ribbon. And so if you can't find the color you want, make your own. That is the greatest part about making things yourself is that you get to customize all the things. Now I am just doing an simple expo and that's what I just call it. It's just an expo. And I'm tying it up with some jute and we're going to fray that center yellow and glue this on. And again, using a button, trying to match it to the other buttons there and make it fit the color. And I just put that kind of in the middle. And if you didn't don't like the colors that I personally use and you don't like bows, you can certainly just do this without that if you happen to make this. And then I love to just put my beads in a bowl and stain them right there and dry them in the bowl. Like it's the super fastest, easiest way. Um, maybe you've seen it done before. Maybe you haven't. I don't know, but I've been doing this one for quite some time. Just put them in a bowl, no stringing them up, no putting them on a skewer. Just put them in the bowl, add you a little bit of water, paint, mix it up, dry it in the bowl and you are done. And then we're just going to glue this right onto the back here. And y'all, I think this one's turned out really adorable. Again, you can customize it to be whatever you want, but I love the calendars from the Dollar Tree to craft with. And hopefully this one just is like, you got to make it right. <laughs> so let's go on into the next project. Okay, this one is another calendar craft. I adore this one. Now, I did this also Facebook Live. Most all of my videos are done live um, that we put over here on YouTube. But um, if you ever want to do live crafting with me, you can always come over to my Facebook page and do that. But this one here, the way that I described it was I wanted it to be grimy, grungy, and gross looking. Like it was an old like sign. It, that was kind of the vision I was going for. So I want to take something that looks super clean and make it look really old. Now this calendar print, I wanted it to fit inside of my tray, my Dollar Tree tray. But the thing was, is I wanted to get as much of the truck on there as possible without cutting off the word and making it look weird. So I just kept fitting it in and cutting it to fit the inside of the tray. Now, I know that people are going to ask me, why would you paint it black before, um, like if you're just going to cover it up? So on the back side of this print is like the calendar blocks and it's black printed and the paper is super thin. So I just went ahead and painted the whole thing. So it kind of blocks out that print from showing through. And that's a really helpful thing. Just a little trick if you did not know that to try. And that way when we apply this with our Mod Podge, we're not going to get any of those um, prints from the back showing through. And I just used some Saran Wrap, pushed it down. I had a few wrinkles, but I think that it made it feel old and I'm going to sand this down anyways. And then I'm just going to take my heat gun and I'm going to dry the Mod Podge with a calendar onto the tray. So the next thing is I'm just going around this with some white antique kind of paint. It's Waverly. I think it's maybe just the color white or maybe it's an antique white or some, I'm not sure the color, but it's a chalk paint. And I just went around it and then I really wanted to kind of go through the stages of this and figure out what I wanted to do. So I put my beads out and I was thinking, how do I want to do this to make it all kind of flow? And so I just set them out. It was kind of like my inspiration to like, what's my vision for this? And then I put together this kind of green color that was the color of the truck and it looks, looks like a really bad color, but in the end, it turned out so good. It was so good. It's like the, um, the trays, like the enamelware trays. I thought, I don't want to glaze this with a brown. I wanted to glaze it with like a greenish color to make it feel like it goes. And then I just took some darker paint and went over the edges that were raised and distressed it. We're going to add some raffia, of course. You have to know that I'm going to some point add bows pretty much to everything. I mean, not everything, but a lot of things festive and seasonal, I think, just need a bow. But you can certainly leave it off. And I thought this color of ribbon from the Dollar Tree was perfect. Tied it up with some of that raffia. And y'all, in the end... I, th I think the feel of this just came out feeling old and distressed. And you can see how I distressed that calendar print. And I just kind of layered things over. We put on that hanger. And I just think that it turned out so stinking cute. So if you find these trays, if you've got you a calendar, 
dream you up some ideas and put it together. And y'all, this could be used for like, instead of that calendar print, you could do something like this year round. So everyday decor, but here's what it looks like. I think it's super cute and it pairs so well with all of these projects today. And this one here is a Dollar Tree frame that we're going to make over using napkins. So I've mentioned this before. I put together these napkin bundles and they sold out like crazy. And so we're working on some Christmas ones. But if you missed that, you can get on the Christmas wait list for Christmas napkins if you love napkin crafting. Now, that raffia over there, I did not end up using because I just did not feel like it was a fit. But I was willing to try it. So I found this frame at Dollar Tree and it's a square and I just painted it with the color mineral. It's like a chalk paint. And I took this cardboard and I'm going to decoupage over this. Now I did not want to go and just mess with the sign like that came in with my frame. I just would rather like work with a piece of cardboard. It's easy to cardboard craft and no one's even going to know. So I just coated it with a light coat of Waverly chalk paint and I'm pulling apart this napkin you guys I love napkin crafting I think that it is so stinking fun if you've never done it before give it a try now this did have three plies so you want to pull off that top ply and then I'm just going to apply my Mod Podge again you can use the iron method if you want to I'm just gonna lay this on here and go and get my rolling pin <laughs> we're just gonna do the thing with it now if you do not like napkin crafting it's okay you can use scrapbook paper and I just happened to notice that I used my, I think I couldn't find my rolling pin. So I just used the roll of saran wrap, you guys. It's never a dull moment around here. Just use what you got. And I just use what I had. So I'm using another piece of cardboard. And we're going to use this other napkin that I have found. And we're going to craft with it. And we're going to lay this over the top of that background. And I think it's going to be really adorable. And we end up using just regular neutral raffia. Y'all, I must have not found my, my rolling pin because normally I don't just use the saran wrap roll itself. But hey, like I said, do you, boo? And we're going to cut the edges off of this. I just painted the area that I was going to use for this and then just cut off, you know, the sides. Now I am going to distress this frame just a little bit. I want it to have a little bit of character to it. And I'm putting that cardboard right inside and I'm putting the back um, part of this sign back inside there and it's really going to sure it up because sometimes the cardboard's a little flimsy but y'all I'm just saying I love napkin crafting now I'm just using the scraps from this uh, cardboard to raise up my other piece of cardboard a little bit more and give it a little bit of dimension and depth and I think that it just is super cute it's like a double framed matted sign and it feels like Thanksgiving or harvest or just a fall autumn evening <laughs> and it's just super cute so I just tied me a basic little raffia bow and we're gonna put this right on there and we're it's just gonna be finishing this off super simple we are gonna add a little hanger to this with some beads and again you can add the beads not add the beads you can use the hanger that came on the Dollar Tree sign you could lean this somewhere you can layer it within your decor but in the end it turned out super cute and those napkins you see up there in the corner I ended up using those on another project that's going to be coming to the channel so look out for that that'll be coming but here is how this turned out so don't sleep on napkins and don't sleep on cardboard and this one right here is my absolute favorite DIY and again, we're doing the same wax with the paint trick. And I really like to try and find ways to inspire people. If they can't find the things that I use, make it yourself. So again, just some Vaseline, some paint. And I'm showing you here that it works just as good as the Waverly Antique Wax. So it's probably also cheaper because you can get the apple barrel paint that's cheaper and you can get that Vaseline at the Dollar Tree and make your own. And I think it'll last for a while too. So anyways, I'm painting all the way around all of these sides, the back, we did all those. And then I covered it a little bit more than I wanted to and ended up sanding it back, but it is dressed rather nicely. And it was super smooth. Plus I was going to be doing a stamp finish on it. And then I just took that same wax and put that back over the white because I wanted to show how you can also use it over your paint and then again going right back into that getting that brown and I'm staining this little it's like a hammer 
mallet that I got at Amazon. I'll link it down below. Or it'll be on the blog whenever we get it up there. But I found these and I had another project in mind, but I thought this makes a cute little handle for this little apple cart. And y'all, this is going to be a covered little wagon, like a covered cart. I know we've seen a lot of the carts on the internet of things that, you know, people have been making, but I thought I'm going to put my own little spin on it. So we are going to make a cover for this. Now I distress everything because I just think that distressing looks really cool. But if you don't like it, you can leave it solid. It's completely up to you. And then again, I just went back in with that DIY wax that we made and covered this little handle and y'all it just turned out really cute it's a great alternative for you know if you don't have the supplies because you don't have it in your area just think outside the box you can do it now these are just lids that i'm spray painting and i'm drying with my heat gun which y'all gotta get a heat gun or a blow dryer or something and then the stamp set I got at Michael's and I'm just marking off where the letters are going to go and I didn't put them in order necessarily, but I just wanted to make sure that they were going to go on properly in the right size. And I got it a little bit off on this, but y'all it's, it just adds character. So we're going with apple cider because I thought that that would just be fun for the fall and you can see my letter placement is not perfect. And then I just drew on a little arrow and I just didn't overthink it. Just go with the flow. I think it's going to look super cute in the end. You just have to have a vision for it. And then I thought I'm going to add a cover to this, like a little top. And so I'm just using a piece of cardboard and we're going to put the cookie tin on it and we're going to make it look rusty. And I just basically layered a bunch of different colors to make it look rusty and crusty looking and I love the texture of the cookie tin on how it made my cardboard you know just gave it a little extra something but if you don't have a cookie tin you could certainly just paint the cardboard and use it but you know I'm gonna have to go like the extra mile now this tin gets hot so have you some glue fingers or finger protectors available so that you can push it down because you don't want to burn your fingers that metal will conduct that heat really really well and then I just went over the underside of the like covering with some white because you would be able to see it up underneath and then I did not like that you could see like the corrugated area so I just trimmed the cardboard with the jute twine from the Dollar Tree and just went all the way around it. It's just a super thin little bead of like twine and it just gave it a little more character. And then this is where I just kind of went crazy. Now I'm painting blacks, I'm painting browns, I'm gonna use yellows, I'm just gonna do mixes of colors. And I really wanna give it like a rusted look. I'm throwing in some reds and I'm just trying to get the color that I just am like, that's the color I want. And you can just experiment with your colors, do what you want to do. And again, I just went in with some of that mineral color to kind of tie it in and added some more of the yellow. And there it is. Like, I just feel like once it dried, it looked exactly the way that I wanted it to. Now, I'm using craft owls to attach our awning cover to our wagon. Y'all, we're going to stuff this with some looks like straw. And we're going to put some apples in there. And it's going to be super stinking cute. But again, you can play around with this if you want to and just dream up something fun that you can decorate your home with for the holidays. And this would also be super cute if you did like a lemon theme or a Christmas theme. Like this is a fall version, but you can do this for any style. I'm telling you, you just got to get creative. But I love how this turned out. I'm not putting anything heavy on the top, so I just did a little bit of glue. I wasn't worried about it doing like E6000. I love how the top turned out. I feel like it just was the right feel for this. And all I did was slide in that um, little handle inside, put some glue. And this is where I'm putting in that straw. And I also did the little buttons to go inside the little hubcaps. You'll see. It's super cute. And I'm just putting them in the side. But y'all, this is our apple cart freehand painted the things. I love these projects this week. I would love to know which one is your favorite. Obviously, this one's my favorite and I hope it is yours too. So thank you for tuning in this week. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, check out the next video, and I will see you guys next week.